All right, so you've purchased the software from Six Semper Service. Let me start by saying thank you for having done that, and I'll walk you through how to use it. When you download it, put it on your desktop like I do. You'll see there's a zipper on the file. That means it's a compressed file, so you're going to need to extract all. Go ahead and extract all. It takes a couple of seconds, depending on the speed of your computer. Oh, there it is. It'll pop up. Mine's set to pop up, but you'll notice it creates a folder on here. You may have to double click and open that. Once you double click on that, you find a JAR file. Double click on the JAR file, open it, and double click on the DIST file and open that folder and open that. There's the Pop U calculator. Double click on it. Brings up the front page labeled Swamp Donkey Survey. So go ahead and give it a couple of seconds and it'll pop onto the real page you need to start processing. There it is. Alrighty, so at this point you now have to find your pictures you want to process. Just like any other thing where you know where your files are, you come up here. I put mine here, I put it for a demo here, and I'll open this picture first. So it asks you for a name for this. I call this scrape because this is on a little scrape, a uh, two acre field I have up in Wisconsin. And it'd really help if I could spell right, of course. And there we go. So, first thing we do is we enter in the temperature for the picture was taken at. Click down by hitting return to whether it's a day or night. This is the nighttime. Its default is tonight because most pictures of the deer I get are at night. It's a doe, so I enter in one for does. Notice there's no population yet listed. That's because until I get a number of bucks, I don't have any information of value. Next, I've got here a picture of a raccoon. I get a fair number of these and turkeys as well. So, I go ahead and I just click on through it, don't enter any, enter any numbers for deer. Now, this picture is a picture of a buck. It's during the daytime, so I'll click it into the day. I'll put it as one buck. Then I'll come down here and click one for unique buck. So there you are. Now you're actually going to have a list of, you'll see total bucks and total does. Once again, I have another buck showing up here. This is just selected pictures. This is not the truth of what it was really like, but it's okay. I'm going to collect one buck. Now this is a unique buck you can see from previous. I'm going to deliberately skip and make a mistake on this one to show you what you can do. So I just made a mistake on this one. I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I can go out to review pictures and it lets me come through it. And I can look at each one of the pictures and the data I entered in on it. So here it is. I need that to be listed as a unique buck. So I'll enter my one in there. I'll go ahead and hit return and it takes me out of it, but you see it's recalculated everything in here. So now it's all correct again and it has the right setups on it. So it's all recorded everything the way it should be. So you do have a chance to go back. If you make a mistake, it's far from the end of the world here. Easily corrected. And I want to go a couple pictures further. I have two bucks that are the same buck that I would like to show you how it works. So you've seen this. It's nothing really exciting, but you just should see it see where it's going to happen. So here it is. I have a nice buck here. It's a nighttime picture. I haven't seen this guy before. So I'll listen as a unique buck. Here he is coming back a couple hours later, maybe an hour later, something like that. So I list them as a non-unique buck. Now watch how, when I did that, the number of total does decreased from four to three. Total number of bucks did not change. So I have a daytime picture of a doe. I'm going to list that one. This picture here, I wanted to show you this one because I have four deer. So we'll go ahead and we'll list the four deer as does. I understand we cannot see the one. You have your choice. You can either not count that deer or you can count it as a doe in my assessment. You can do what you want with it, but that's how I deal with this when I encounter it. I see it on a regular basis. So that's just how I go about doing it. So at this point, when you're done, 
You can review pictures. If you had a buck you weren't sure, sure about, you can go click on the unique bu bucks button and use the return to go through the various pictures of the bucks you've seen and get a good look at them to compare them to determine if a new buck that you see is one that you've seen previously in a picture or if it's truly a new deer, new buck. So at this point I'll go ahead and exit even though I haven't processed everything. It says create a new one. If you want to not create a new one you can just click exit and dump all the data. I never, I shouldn't say I never, I rarely do that. But you can click OK at this point. What's going to happen is you're going to see please wait up top and as soon as that goes away then you're ready to go ahead and take a look at what I call the bragging book. This basically gives you the critical information you cared about on your deer. It gives you your calculation of the number of bucks you've seen and the calculated number of does. This calculation is based on a paper by James Kroll et al. back in 97 or as most people know him, Dr. Deer. So it's pretty standard stuff that I'm doing here. Then I start graphing up the uh, number of deer during the day. Well, first off, I get total deer activity per day, which is really the number of pictures taken on a given day. Then I'll have the ones that are at daytime, the ones that are at nighttime. Then I do the same thing for bucks, total buck activity, buck activity during the day, buck activity during the night. Then I do the same thing for does. And then below that, I put what I call four packs, which are four pictures per page of the various bucks that you have. All right. Well, once again, thank you much for having bought my product, and good luck. If you have any questions, please contact us at sick.semper.service at gmail.com. That's S-I-C dot S-E-M-P-E-R dot C-E-R-V-U-S at gmail.com. Thank you, and good hunting.